What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Ark Survival Evolved. So today what I'd like to do is go after a plesiosaur, which is not only known for its fantastic manners, but also for being at apex bottom of the ocean. Well, I don't know if it's apex or not. It doesn't really mess with bigger stuff, but I'd like to find one. I heard that it's in the game, and I've seen pictures. I mean, I googled it, but the, most of what I got was just dinosaur and underwater related porn. But anyways, that's the internet for you. Today in this episode, I think we're going to stay underwater for a little while and see what we can discover. Just have a good time like we did an episode or two ago. I don't have the materials to finish off the little tower over there just yet. I've already figured out how I'm going to finish it. I may actually just tear the whole thing down. There's an easier method for doing the same thing that we've done that I saw elsewhere on a little tutorial on a wiki or something like that. I don't know. There's been a couple hours in between here and my last load up. So anyways, let's check the game out. Let's have a good time. Hopefully we can avoid getting our sharks stuck on things. And also, I hope that we can find ourselves some oil. I leveled up recently, as you can tell from my empty level up meter. That allowed me to get a little bit more oxygen. Honestly, it doesn't help that much though. I'm just going to throw this out there right now. I think there definitely needs to be scuba gear implemented into the game because as it stands at the moment, it is incredibly difficult to do underwater stuff without putting a vast majority of your levels into what are these down here? Oh, never mind. I thought they were crystals or something. Visibility's bad underwater. I always have trouble seeing. So anyways, there's got to be some more oil around here somewhere. There's one. I'm almost out of oxygen though. Let me go back up to the surface real quick. I'm not sure exactly where the surface is at. And so I'm going to have to be careful about it. Did I say careful? That's the weirdest word that I've ever slipped up on. Careful. Huh. Okay, so I'm going to put splash right there. I would highly recommend that you avoid taking your shark up to the surface. I have just wrestled with that bug where he gets stuck over and over and over again. And so I'm just going to leave the Megalodon where it's at. We got our oxygen good to go. Down we dive back down to grab a little bit more oil. Supposedly the plesiosaur is down here. I think we may have to wait till morning to actually get a good sighting though because it's pretty damn dark right now with no lights on. So anyways, our visibility is going to be poor and obviously our chances of spotting something at a distance are going to be even less. Oh good. We got some oil out of there. Seven oil. I put all the rest of the oil, if you remember from the previous episode, I threw a bunch of the oil into... I think I put it into the jerkificator, the thing that just sits there and jerks all my meat all day long. And so anyways, when we go back over there, I'll have to check and see if we got any jerky out. I'm hoping that it's converting. If it's not, I'm going to be very upset with it and be like, hey, why you no jerk my meat? And he'll be like, because I just don't like you that way, and you didn't pay me. So, meh, not going to jerk your meat anymore. I'm going to grab this one over here, too. This is a big vein to only give you, like... Seven or eight oil. There we go. That was a good pull. And then we'll go back up to the soy face. And once we get up to the surface, get some oxygen and continue to look around. So I don't know exactly where plesiosaurs like to hang out. I've heard varying rumors about where they like to exist. That shark is going to bite me in my face. So give me a second here before I run out of oxygen. Let me grab some air real quick style. And then I'll go back down and find my shark. My shark's right there. Okay, I just wanted to make sure he wasn't, like, dead or anything. We got a couple of sharks coming in right here. I do need to be careful about the way... Actually, I don't really care if our shark gets stuck right now because we're about to fight some other sharks and they'll unstick him, so it'll be okay. I actually, during our last fight... God, I can't see worth anything right now. It is so dark. Well, during the last fight... Oh, good, that shark's on me. That means that our Megalodon has a better chance of fighting that megalodon right there. Oh my god, it's dark. I may come back once the sun comes up or something, because as of right now, our visibility is very, very poor. Hmm. Unfortunate, really. What are you biting right now? It looks like we also have a... Ugh. Let's help out a little bit. There we go. We got him. Took him out, and that's going to level up somebody. I think Splash Nasty is going to be the one that levels from that one. Let me get a little bit more damage dealt right here. Then we'll go on up to the surface and we'll get me some oxygen. I spend more time skirmishing with megalodons. I actually think they need to nerf the amount of megalodons in the water. There's just too many. A predator that size can't be sustained in a mass of water like this. Like It's a big predator. It would eat a lot of stuff if there was this many of them. And so I actually think they need to be a lot less common. As of right now, every time you go swimming, you see 35 of them all over the place. I should probably check Gash for anything that he's got in his inventory. So we got another didden over here. I don't know if I should harvest the meat on him. I don't even know if it's worth it. That's actually where all the loot's been going. If you were wondering in previous episodes why there was nothing on any of these sharks, it's because my shark is picking it all up. Apparently he's a loot hound. He very much enjoys the D&D, &D and he's got all kinds of stuff on him right now. He's got loads and loads and loads of things. So if you were looking for him, that's where they're at. I'm going to keep giving him health because I think the chances of me having like a fleet of sharks anytime soon, probably pretty limited just because they're too difficult to handle up near the surface. I don't find them to be, am I actually near the surface right now? Or is this a bad idea? This is a bad idea. I don't think I'm going to make the surface before I drown here. Let's go up. I'm going to leave you right there and then I'll come back down for you. Okay. 
We'll be back in a minute. Oh, never mind. The surface was right there. Well, never mind then. We're going to do tricks just like they do at Marine World. Look at him. He's so majestic. Looking up in the sun with a dolphin a smile. All right. So let's go for some food here because apparently I'm starving to death. We'll go ahead and drop that on in. Get ourselves a good little grip of... Well, we're cold, so it's probably going to take a while anyways. Still, a level up is available on our lovely Dolphuna friend. What is that right there, and why was it removed? Oh, good, we got another axe. That's pretty cool. I wish that I had more axes, so that works out pretty decently for me. I'm always out trying to chop trees, and I like to bring like three or four axes with me at a time. Where did my other axes go? Why is that inside of there? Maybe that was my other axe, and somehow accidentally it winded up. Huh. Did he just loot a bunch of stuff out of my inventory? That's weird. I put that axe in my inventory before we left. I don't know what's going on. Either way, can you do better damage? Eh, he only gets 14% per attack. Assuming he does more than 10, we're probably not going to see a lot of gains right there. I figure I should probably loot out this shark, and I'll grab that oil down there in just a second. Visibility is going up. You can also fix that by just turning up the gamma if you wanted to. I mean, it's not that difficult. You just go, you press tab, and then you put in gamma 2.5, and you should be okay, or like gamma 1.75, and you should be all right. Just sort of depends how bright you want it to be. I prefer 2.5. seems to be the sweet spot for me. Anyway, let's go ahead and handle this right here. Get ourselves a little bit more oil. It sucks when you get nothing but a bunch of stone out of there. It makes me sad. Get me get my shark back because apparently I can whistle underwater. I'm doing all kinds of weird supernatural shit. Sometimes you get stuck after you leave them places too. Let's dive down to the bottom and see what we can find here. I bet there's a big dino around here. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do with it. I'm not going to try and tame it or anything. I just want to see one. I heard that they're down here and so I figure I would validate that by looking around and seeing if one shows up. It's all that glowing stuff at the bottom. Huh. Go up to the surface real quick even though there's a shark up here. Who is probably going to try and bite me. Yep. All right, well, let me grab some oxygen real quick. I do wish that there was like a breach button like you had. Yeah, that's unpleasant. That's definitely unpleasant, but I got my oxygen back, so I think we'll be all right. If we just hang out and like farm megalodons for a while, we'll probably have an easier time of it getting gear than anything else. And there you go, finished him off already. I'm willing to bet... Like, honestly, I sincerely think that the Ichthyosaur must do a lot of damage because I do feel like I supplement the Great Wide's damage pretty well whenever I get into a fight. I'm going to leave him down below the surface real fast. Grab this over here. There we go. And now we're going to dive back down. And I want to go to the bottom. Let's see what we can find here. I don't see anything right here. That glowing stuff appears to be some kind of, like, underwater algae or kelp. Oh, look, I'm moon swimming. That's pretty cool. I can get my entertainment career going. I'd be like the Michael Jackson of underwater fish. Everyone's going to love me. Got another shark coming in right there. I'm actually... Oh, my God. There's so many of them out here. Wow, that is a lot of sharks. Okay. So, let me get in here. I'm going to fight with him for just a minute. Hopefully, our Megalodon decides to jump in. We are taking a little bit of damage, but I'd like for him to die before anything else goes wrong here. There we go. Splash Nasty taking care of business like always. Got another one coming in on this side. I'm going to go ahead and get the DPS started on him. Honestly, underwater exploration seems to be a little bit suspect right now. What I might try and do is maybe in between this recording session and the next one, I might try and get like five or six ichthyosaurs and throw those into combat. Got another kill right there. I'm almost out of oxygen though, so I'm not going to fight with the next shark. Get back up to the surface real quick style. Probably not even going to harvest these guys either. I'll probably just check the loot once we get back. And I don't know if they're going to follow me all the way up. In all honesty, it takes a while for them to get up here. They don't swim as fast as I do, so eh. Whatever, you know, they need to get some new hops. They'd be better at sharking if they were faster. Continue DPSing right here. I think I'm just going to tank and keep DPSing every single time we get into a fight. Seems to work pretty well. Splash Nasty looks like he can deal the damage that I need him to deal. We've wiped out a bunch of enemies right here, which is going to clear out this next little corridor for us, I think. Although there's still sharks, I mean, all over the place, so it's still troublesome. Down here at the bottom, it looks like we still have some coelacanths and some other little things. I don't know what his HP is looking like right now, but we've killed a lot of sharks. So my assumption is that it's got to be lower than I expect. I don't know. I try to be careful about it. God, it's so dark down here, even though the sun's out. Visibility is definitely sketchy. I mean, honestly, I could just explore this with only Splash Nasty, and I think I would actually be able to accomplish things perfectly fine without too many troubles because I can outrun just about everything. It's not that big of a deal, and he's got a huge amount of stamina, too. Wow, we were actually pretty deep down. Huh. Seems like kind of a dangerous place to be. I don't want to drown right now. 
So let's handle that. I'm going to leave you right there for a second. Every single time you go up to the surface, the unfortunate thing is that you've got to, like, disengage your shark. Otherwise, he gets stuck all the time. And if you get him stuck in a weird place, like, getting him unstuck can actually be a giant pain in the ass. So I don't know what happens if you actually wander off the map down here. That's the next part that I'm a little bit interested in is, like, what happens if we go too far down and in here? Oh, there's a laser barrier. Okay, well, that explains it then. There's a laser mesh. I suppose that goes in with the whole sci-fi thing that they've been trying to keep the entire game. It makes sense, I guess. I will begrudgingly agree. Is my shark up here fighting with like a hundred sharks? Oh shit, it looks like he is. Yeah, he's gonna need help, otherwise he ain't gonna make it. Okay, so he's fighting with that one. Let's get in there. DPS mode. Down goes another one. Splash nasty. Get him! Yeah, regenerate that health. Wreck that shark. You are dolphin. All that is fish is you. All right, so another one bites the dust. Have you leveled up yet, out of curiosity? Are you good? You're getting closer, but you're not quite there. Got all kinds of good loot on you, though. Random stuff to pick up. Apparently, the shark's been eating people with slingshots. Why people are bringing supplementary slingshots down into the ocean with them when they're swimming, I don't know, but I guess they have been. There's my shark right there. We'll leave him. That's one of the problems with leaving him, is once we clear out this entire area, we might be able to actually get something done. Damn it. There's so many sharks in the water. Like, seriously, this is the most hazardous swimming experience ever. These sharks are everywhere. Luckily, we're equipped for it and we're ready to go, but oh my god. There are a lot of them. What's his health looking like? I gotta take him back to base if he's... Oh, he's good. Whatever, he's not even at half health. This guy's ready to rock. He's ready to do work. He's ready to do murder on other sharks because when one shark kills another shark it's definitely shark murder it's one of those things that is not encouraged in shark society probably shouldn't do that alright so up above the surface I actually I applaud your core strength right there man you've been going to the gym a lot you've been getting in there and just kinda like doing them crunches making sure that you can actually hold yourself up and out of the water like that let me get my shark back too you coming buddy hey gash get along little doggy Sorry about that weird technical thing came up. Oh good, my shark is over here fighting hundreds of sharks. Good, 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 good. Just what I had hoped would happen when we came down into the water. If I lose my Megalodon, I'm going to cry in your direction aggressively. I'm just going to be over here and help out with it, I guess. Ooh, that one's got green stripes on his back. That's badass. I wish mine had green stripes. Jesus, it's a feeding frenzy in here. See if I can get something done. Oh, Jesus, I'm suffocating. Back up to the surface real fast. I'm both freezing and suffocating simultaneously, and we are really, really deep down in the ocean. I think I'm going to lose my shark. I think our chances of our shark making it on this one pretty slim right now, especially considering the fact that I'm bleeding out health like crazy going downwards. What is going on with this right now? What are you accomplishing? You're doing weird shit at the moment. Oh, good, he's being weird and buggy. That's odd. Oh, my dolphin is bugged. There we go. We're unbugged. We're unbugged. We're good. Okay, so what I need to do now is we need to get up in here and we need to help. There we go. We killed another Megalodon, but we're stuck inside his body right now. And not in the way that one would think. God damn, look at the size of this shark pile right here. Since when are sharks... God, these sharks are like communal down here. Gash Nasty just doing work, taking these dudes out. Well done, Gash. I applaud your initiative. You've done well, my friend. You've done very, very well. For right now, what's up with this big, like, there's actually, like, the bottom of the ocean right over here where it flattens out and it looks like there's no longer anything around. I'm probably going to have to give him a little bit of a break. He needs to get some HP back, and I need to get back up to the surface before I freeze to death. I don't think that our insulation is going to do it. Well, the goal was to find a plesiosaur, but unfortunately, it looks like the opportunity may elude us. Let's go ahead and jump up here and hope that he doesn't get stuck again. I'm going to stop Gash from doing the exact same thing. Yeah, the oxygen becomes, especially when he bugs out and does that thing right there, where sometimes he just gets stuck going up and down. It was weird. Definitely not something that I expected. All right, so down we go. I don't even know if I'm facing the shore anymore, though. Let me go back up to the surface and get a feel for where I am. Actually, I can look right here. Oh, never mind. You can't take your map out underwater. Okay, so another little thing. I will probably... We need a little bit of health back right here. I'm going to say that just keep working on your damage, buddy. I'm going to use you as like a principal DPSer when we do this stuff. See if it helps out a little bit. All right, so we're actually on the left-hand side of where we were before. Well, underwater exploration is not going so successfully right now. I want to find a plesiosaur. That's what I'm excited about, but I haven't found one yet. Oh, there's an underwater cave right here. What's in here? 
anything cray cray for days. Oh, never mind. I think that's just an underwater arch. I don't think it's actually a cave. All right. Well, either way, I swam under like a mini version of one of those one time while I was scuba. Oh, well, I wasn't scuba diving while I was snorkeling, anyways. I guess I can at least accomplish one of our goals here while we're out and about. There we go. Grab a whole bunch of oil while I'm down here. I don't really have much of an option. I do think that we need a lot of oil in order to get certain things done. So I figure I might as well accomplish it while I'm down here. Doing this without the aid of an underwater creature, though, seems like it would be, hey, harvest. There you go. Now you got it. Kick into that animation. You got it, buddy. I believe in you. Me and my giant friendly shark here. Up to the top. He's friendly for now until the day that I forget to feed him. See, that's the trick. I would, see, I would always make sure that I fed a mastiff on time. Feeding a small cat on time, you're like, yeah, he'll be okay. He's not going to, like, rally and mutiny and kill me or anything. Keep Gash nasty from growing crazy. I'm suffocating on the surface right now. That's how talented I am at suffocating and being fail. All right, let's go, guy. Back down to the bottom, and we'll keep on trimming the edges and see what we can find down here. It looks like mostly just oil veins. It doesn't actually look like there's much down here to be had. Got a shark over on that side. If he's not going to bother me, I'm not going to bother him. It looks like he is going to aggro, but I think I'll just leave him alone. I don't see anything else out here. It said that the plesiosaur could be found at like the deepest depths of the ocean. And this is pretty far off the continental shelf, so I'm assuming he's probably down and out here somewhere. Or maybe inside of caves or something. I don't know. He might be rare, though. He might be one of those critters that don't show up very often. Hey, he's still coming, buddy? Still with me, or are you stuck on some invisible collision over here? He's stuck on invisible collision. That's pretty normal. And that'll get him up and out of it. What is that over there? It has the vague shape. Oh, it's just a rock. Okay. I'm going to go up to the surface and get my air before I jump in on that fight. I see no reason to put myself at risk. That's what we have minions for. We have minions to ensure that we never have to fight fair ourselves. All right, so oxygen's all full up. We'll dive straight back down. Dive! Dive! Bing! Bing! We got a couple over here. Probably fight with you for a second, because I bet I can kill you before you kill me. Yep, and I was right about that. Where's my shark? And what are you... Hey! Hey! Don't bite me in the ass while I'm looking for my friend. I am doing a search and rescue operation right now, and you are not making it easy for me to exist. I'm going to continue biting you, though, because you look quite delicious. And then I'm going to get stuck inside your body. What would be really cool is when you killed an underwater creature, if, like, a plesiosaur or something like that would come and investigate when the blood's in the water. That'd be kind of a badass thing. There's a bunch of sharks over here. Nothing that's going to be useful, though. And our shark is stuck again for some reason. He gets stuck underwater. I don't know. It happens all the time. Sometimes going back up to the surface gets him unstuck. Yeah, there it is right there. He's already unstuck. But I don't know what's weird about the water in this game, but the underwater creatures are constantly stuck, like, all the time. Like, I come across AI sharks that are stuck all the time, my sharks are stuck all the time. Hey, where'd you go? There you are. Apparently I moved much further laterally than I thought that I did. So down and in here, do we see anything? I don't know, if you see anything around, shout it out to me, because I ain't seen nothing yet. Why are you still stuck? Are you, like, what's going on here? Like, that is such an annoying thing. Like, it's almost like I kind of want to leave him at home because he's always stuck. There we go. I don't know what he gets stuck on either. Like, there's nothing over here. Like, he's in open water, and yet he gets stuck over and over and over again. Like, there's nothing here, and he'll only move if I'm within, like, a foot of him. Weird. All right, well, whatever, buddy. Your next level up, I think I might try and make him faster or something. See, he's still stuck over there. It's like there's an invisible wall right here that's keeping him from following me. I'm going to take him back to base, I think, and then we'll just go out and explore without him because I don't think we need him anyways. Oh, he's just going to turn donuts for a while. Ghost ride the shark. There he is. Come on, buddy. See, I am suffocating for you right now. That's how much I love you. I'm suffocating for your sharky love. Suffocating for you now. Oh, man, I'm officially injured. That's lame. Well, I should probably go back to base then and get myself all rehabilitated. Feel better for a little while. I think we've killed enough sharks today anyways. Luckily, we have a mount with us, so we don't really have to worry about, like, running slow and being run down by a raptor or anything. Are you... sir? Come on. 
Oh, you're stuck again. That's great. Come on, buddy. I know you can do this. Developers, if you see this, please fix the sharks. It makes me sad. It makes me have a little tear in my eye. The sharks, I really, really like underwater stuff. And I found that like underwater exploration is made much more tedious by the fact that these guys are always stuck and unable to keep up. And it's often on invisible things. Like they were stuck on a rock or whatever, but like, well, it's my fault for doing it over and over again like I do with dinosaurs. Why is my health so low right now? That's a little bit worrying. Hmm. My health is like really low. What happened? I'm going to eat some food real quick to maybe even that out a bit. At least get us up off the edge of death right there. Couple of points of health in, but I don't know if we're taking damage when sharks were biting us before. Must have been for my suffocation or whatever, but I must not have been paying attention. I don't know. I'm a noob like that. I hardly ever do it. I try not to anyways. I don't know. My debts run high when it comes to paying attention. I guess would be the artsy fartsy way to say it. Hey, what's up, other shark? How you doing, buddy? Mind if I touch your tummy? You do mind if I touch your tummy? Well, fine. Then. I'm going to touch your tummy with my fangs. Yeah. Taste my lightning attacks. Dolphuna used quick attack. Yep, and there it is. Splash Nasty. He's a killing machine. He knows what's up. He is just a murderer. I'm out of oxygen again. Damn it. All right. Well, let's get that solved. Yeah, I think I'm taking damage with my Dolphuna every time that I get bit. I think that's what's going wrong here. So I should probably... <gasps> no! Nash! Oh, shit. This arms race just swapped not in our favor. Well, ass. I'm out of here. Nope. I mean, that does solve our problem with Nash Nasty, and I do think we could probably do a lot more successfully if we just had a shit ton of Dolphunas. Like, 30 of them? We just had, like, a horde of these little bastards. We brought them with us. I think this is my bay right here. I think. Yeah, this is my bay. I see Mash Nasty already. Well, damn, that didn't work out the way that I wanted it to. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Is that a shark right there? Or are those Dolphunas? I think they're Dolphunas. Okay, that one's a shark. That one's definitely a shark. Other Dolphunas, you want to stop nursing on my stomach and, like, sucking out my Dolphuna milk and, like, focus on killing that shark right there that is rapidly becoming... You guys don't see sharks as a threat? Okay, I'm going to go this way then. I'm just going to run the hell away. My health is too low to suffer any more combats. I don't know how long he's going to stay aggroed for. Hopefully not for long. If he continues coming after me, this might get really, really nasty. So where's my rock over there? It's over there. Okay, so there it is. I suppose I could dump you over here somewhere. I mean, it looks like you can swim in the shallows. Probably better than the shark can. Yeah, that works out pretty well. I'm just going to bring you over here. And if you could bait other Dolphunas into coming and hanging out with us with your natural Dolphuna charisma, that'd be great. Other Dolphunas, you want to hang out for a little while? Ah, uh, there he is. That's my affectionate, very personal name for him, Other Dolphuna. Well, I feel like I should be more upset about Nash Nasty dying than I actually am, but frankly, he was such a pain in my ass to get him to go anywhere that I'm not worried about it. I think I'm just going to sit here and beep for a little while until I feel better. My name is Splattercat. Sorry for not finding a plesiosaur. I have no idea where the shit those things are. We combed a big chunk of the ocean floor out there and didn't find one. That was what I wanted to do today, but I guess it's all going to be a big waste. On the plus side, we had fun killing a lot of sharks and then also losing our Megalodon, so... Eh? I don't know. I might try and tame another couple of them like, once I get the chance to do so, but not right now. I'll see you all in the next episode. I have no idea what's coming up next. I've basically run aground on things to do aside from like taming Spinosaurs and things, which is a very, very long, arduous process. So anyways, I'll see you all later. I think I'd like to find the dragon. I don't know where the dragon's at. That might be kind of cool, but I think you have to summon the Broodmother for that or something. It sucks that all of our caves are bugged because I'd love to do that, but the caves, like, they pose no challenge whatsoever because they're all just kind of buggy and wonky. They don't have any creatures inside of them. So anyways, I'll see y'all later. Hi to everybody.